From Egyptians measuring with the sun to modern algorithms for self-driving cars, here is our 20 episode series, The History of Math. It represents a fascinating journey through human civilization. Subscribe now. Long, long time ago, mathematics simply didn't exist. So, how, how did it start finally? Probably the first step was to count. Archaeologists, for example, have found bones with engraved dash. Definitely, this shows people when they started to count. Calculus, for example, the word calculus comes from Latin calculus, which means a little stone, a pebble. And people used to use stones to count. That was the first step. And then the first big thing. What happened? Somebody, probably in the area of Iraq, at the time was called Mesopotamia, Mesopotamos, between the two rivers, Tiger and Euphrates. Somebody suddenly realized that he was looking at three apples and three dogs and said, hey, there must be something common between those two sets. Number, the digit three was born. Yes, in fact, there is a common characteristic between the two sets, three, the digit. It looks obvious, but it was not. And suddenly, it became possible to come and to write what was common between the two sets. Of course, it was great, but immediately there was a limit. How do you count, for example, the people in the village? How do you do? You cannot have an infinity of digits. So the next step was to combine digits. And indeed, with two digits, you can have a lot of, quote, numbers. The number was born. That's the, that's the next step. The number, suddenly it became possible to count large numbers, like how many hairs I have. It suddenly became possible. And several systems were designed, developed by different people around the world. One of the most famous, for example, is the Roman system. The Roman Empire of Roman people used to use seven digits. And with combination, they could count infinity amounts. And it looks like another big progress, but there was a big problem. For example, you can write 18, X, V, 111, that is 18. But now imagine you want to add 18 and 2, plus 2. How do you do? There is a problem. It's not easy at all. The problem? No zero. It's hard to realize and to understand how it's possible for the Roman Empire not to have a digit for zero. And it came many centuries afterward. It came from the East, India, Hindu, Arabic, and somebody maybe called al khwarizmi and from this side came the idea of the zero. It was not immediately accepted because a digit to qualify something that doesn't exist, there was some resistance to that. Again, it looks obvious, it was not. But with the, the zero, suddenly another air suddenly became possible. And that's the history of mathematics. It's a sequence of steps and each of those steps have made some progress and led to the world we are living in today. Join us next time to see how Egyptians invented geometry and used it, for example, to calculate the size of the Earth. Subscribe now to follow the History of Mars, a new series in the YouTube channel What Makes It Tick. Make a regular day to watch our 20-episode series, The History of Math.
by subscribing to the YouTube channel What Makes It Tick. Click on the bell to be notified when new videos are uploaded.